at Great River Energy, we take the philosophy that energy efficiency is the least cost resource. And with that in mind, we develop a business plan and, and that includes energy efficiency. And then we start working with our co-ops in partnership on what programs, what energy efficiency programs make the best sense. And we look at them in a number of ways. One is, is, is how much are they going to cost to deliver and are they going to really benefit the customers in energy savings. And having a real diverse number of co-ops, not all of our programs work for each one of our members. And so we have quite a portfolio of energy efficiency programs, if you will. And then it's up to our member co-ops to sort of pick and choose, if you will, which programs are going to work best for them. Well, you know, I talk about the simplest of simple programs, and it has to be compact fluorescent lights. And I, I don't know that there isn't a co-op in the country that isn't participating in some sort of CFL program. Many of our member cooperatives give away CFLs. They give them away at their board meetings or at, at different meetings and whatnot. But partnering or looking for a way to leverage that giveaway into something more. For example, asking your members to support the CFL program by providing a can of food or, or, or some sort of food donation to the local food shelf for that CFL. What a way of leveraging a program like your CFL program into something much greater for the community. It's a great way to look at those partnership opportunities. North Itasca Electric developed a program called the CFL for Food. We have members that come in off the streets and they want to buy CFL bulbs. We have them there at the office where we sell them for a dollar a piece because we want them to at least put some kind of a value to them so they end up using them instead of if we give them away then they just might sit on their shelves and they don't put them in. And at that same time we can talk to the members, explain the value of them, the benefits to them, and we also promote that the money that they spend for them actually does get donated to the food shelves, 100% of it. A lot of times those members will purchase additional bulbs just to help out the food shelf more. At the same time, they're saving energy by because those bulbs take 75% less energy than a normal light bulb takes. This program is a very good program when you want to get community involved because it is sharing with low-income people. The money goes to needy people in the communities. Um, cooperative way is to help the people in their community and share with others in their membership. And this is offering something to those members that not, wouldn't necessarily have that opportunity. We have three different food shelves that in our service area that we divide the money up to distribute to. At the end of the year, we give that to those three. For the last three years, we've been doing this program that each year it gets more and more donations. This year, it's gonna be over $700 to each of the three food shelves that we donate to. Or we would have them come in and we presented the checks and took photos for our Watts newspaper. And at that time, the food shelves, all three of them expressed the gratitude that they were thankful, especially at the, that time of year where the holiday seasons are coming. North Itasca Electric is a real small cooperative. And it's, I think we're a good example of what a small cooperative can do. There's a lot of small cooperatives out there that if they would do a program like this, it would be great because it doesn't take a lot of time, it doesn't take a lot of money, and they're helping their community. Member participation is what really makes your program work, and it's very fulfilling. You have people come in and they're very thankful, and it, and it just, when you give those checks out at the end of the year, it gives you a self-worth of, I was able to do these, this for those people. Energy efficiency and teaching people about energy efficiency and how they can make a change in their own lives is really important. That's what Joe Carroll Energy is doing with this kilowatt meter program. All the surveying work that we've done shows that member owners are really hungry for energy efficiency information and they really appreciate, I think, the, the assistance that they do get from the electric cooperative. So anything that co-ops can do to position themselves as the energy experts for the members is really a good thing.
About a year ago, we decided at Joe Carroll Energy that we wanted to equip our members with an ability to figure out exactly what appliances and electronic devices in their home were actually drawing the most amount of electricity to kind of help with high bill complaints and things like that. A device that's really good for that is obviously the kilowatt meter. These tools are really great, however, they do cost money to purchase, and if you're only going to test one appliance, there's really no point in spending the $30 when we could offer a checkout program through both of our offices. Our service territory is really long. It extends about three counties long with a lot of miles from top to bottom. So for some of our members to drive all the way to either office in Elizabeth or Savannah didn't make much sense. So we decided to partner with another entity within the area and we've decided to settle with the libraries. Uh, it's a perfect, perfect match since they already check out books and many of our libraries have uh, different books on energy efficiency and energy in general. We have 11 libraries throughout our entire service territory across three different counties and we decided that, you know, this would be a good donation that we can make to all those libraries to be able to allow their patrons to check these out, whether they're a member of Joe Carroll Energy or not. Uh, it's another program that's basically funded by member dollars that's going to benefit everyone as a whole. Joe Carroll Energy funds paid to have the kilowatt meters and the instructional guides put in all 11 libraries. I think what makes this program so successful is the partnership with the libraries. It's been a great partnership for us. They are already within the communities. They have a strong face within the communities. And being able to you know, just write a few simple press releases, telling members that these are out here for them to use, it's, it's been a great opportunity for everybody involved. Joe Carroll approached us um, and told us that they were putting them in all libraries if we were interested. We did say we were very interested in doing that. They provided a lot of the material that we needed to explain what they were and how to use them. So the patrons are very excited about the kilowatt program. We did some stories in the newspaper about that and we had an overwhelming response. You know, you're never sure when you get a new product or something new to your collection in if it's going to be well received or not and we were actually really surprised how many people came in and, and checked them out and wanted to use them and find out, you know, what, what the energy they were using. I was able to take this uh, device home and apply it to my own appliances and find out exactly where I was wasting a ton of cash. And because of this, I was able to, within one year's time, and I was very diligent about using this product, uh, kind of on a pretty time basis, and finding out where my energy loss was going. And I outlined at least four or five major appliances in my home through this unit as to where I was losing money. My television set, my DVD, my VHS, if you still have one of those, I do. Uh, my microwave was also a big energy sucker. My computer, and the big one, my husband's beer fridge. And unfortunately, that's staying close. But I was able to monitor it enough to know exactly where the dollars were going in this, in this home. And because of the use of this product, I was able to make uh, some nice adjustments. I now unplug units that are no longer needed during the day, plug them in when I use them. Hence, I saved some cash, and I was really happy about that. The kilowatt meter checkout program has been an excellent program for improving the relationship between Joe Carroll Energy and our member owners for various reasons. First off, energy efficiency is the first step in figuring out uh, the relationship between energy usage within the home and a member's bill. When a member calls in with a high bill complaint, you know, it's, it's not the co-op's fault as we all know that. However, the first step is figuring out what it is within the home that a member can do to ultimately lower their bills. We also discuss using the kilowatt meters at any of our energy efficiency seminars throughout our community and anytime a member approaches any one of our employees with a high bill question, typically they're directed for this program. And one of the coolest things for me as the person that implemented this program was having a person who I had not yet met walk straight up to me knowing that I worked for Joe Carroll Energy and telling me how excited they were that their library was actually uh, one of the libraries that we picked to have these kilowatt meters. They thought it was one of the greatest programs and that it actually empowered them to be able to lower their bills. That in itself is one of the most rewarding things in general to know that I was able to help another member lower their costs. 